Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is draw debug arrow? We'll go ahead and run through the quick little example. I'll hit play, and we have a debug arrow. It's going to start where my player was. It's going to finish over here at the top of the box, and then there's a little arrowhead. We also have a color and a thickness, and of course it disappears from the duration. So let's go ahead and look at the node itself and how it's used. The default settings for the draw debug arrow are here. We'll go and show it in the setup here. Basically, it takes in a start and an end. These are basically vectors. In my case, I'm grabbing where my character's at, and I'm ending a little bit above where that box is. We have the arrow size. Now, this technically refers to the arrow head. If we run this at the default of zero, this is what you're going to see. Not much of an actual width on the head itself. But if we put it back to like I had 100, now you see a much more pronounced arrowhead. And we could even do something like 300, and we'll get a really ridiculously large arrowhead. So that's what the arrow size variable does. Line color refers to the color. Duration is how long it's on the screen for. In this case, on my begin play event, I'm firing it off and telling it to stay around for 10 seconds, and it'll stay around for 10 seconds. Duration of zero, of course, refers to one frame only. So if we were to hook this up to our tick instead of just our begin play, every frame is going to draw this and it's going to find the new information. So now we have an arrow that basically traces from our player to our destination, since we're basically redrawing it every frame. Thickness refers to the thickness of the line. Default of zero actually refers to one. So zero and one are going to end up giving you the same thickness. If we can get it to cooperate, there we go. So that's something to keep in mind. You head as a default. And that's it. That is our debug arrow. It's useful if you need to put something on the screen and see where something is. Again, these are debug draws. So you don't really prob you probably don't want to use them in your production game, but they're useful if you need to find where something is. Maybe you want to show somebody something for testing purposes. Because keep in mind, the arrow can start and end anywhere. You could just have the arrow in the sky pointing down so that we people will know where points are for testing. 